What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Gemini sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of May 21st and June 20th then you're a Gemini sun sign and this video is for you. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at the month ahead for the month of November. This spread is going to tell us what past, present, and future energies you have surrounding you at this time, what to hold on to and let go of in the month of November, what obstacles and lessons are going to be on your path in the month of November. Basically is designed to give you the leg up on the upcoming month so that you can make it the best month possible. Uh, let's introduce you to my crystal friends. I've got my sodalite sphere as I do for every reading. He doesn't go far from this table so you've already met him. <laughs> I got a um, rainbow moonstone egg and this is going to bring some insight and you know psychic clarity to the whole situation. And then I brought a rough tanzanite which is going to bring some fiery good energy, positive energy. So uh, that's that and then we're going to be using the super 8-bit tarot. This is a video game themed deck that's fun and colorful and quirky. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, I have a deck review on my channel. I'll put a link in the card in the top right corner that you can click on if you want to learn more about this deck. But if you would, uh, give me a moment to center myself and ask the tarot cards the question, what are the energies surrounding Gemini sun signs in the month of November? That ought to do it. We will cut the deck and deal them out. All right, and while we're at it, we're gonna consult the Keepers of the Light Oracle. I would ask it what spiritual message it has for Gemini sun signs in the month of November. What spiritual message for Gemini sun signs in the month of November? And we'll take a look at that card at the end of the reading. All right, first thing I notice is we got three court cards here right in a row that's very interesting a couple major arcana we'll see what those mean when we get to them so what we're going to do is we're going to look at these cards look at these cards individually and then we're going to see what they have to say as a whole so let's get into it the first card we have here represents the energies of last month so the energies of october we've got the queen of coins and the message i'm getting from this card is that there was a you know a focus on for most of you, this is work. Remember, this is a general overall reading. Uh, not everything applies to everyone. So, you know, take what works for you and uh, try to see how these cards fit into your life. But uh, the Queen of Coins is leading me to believe that there was a kind of an em emphasis on work for some of you. An emphasis on money, possibly. But not like a greedy sort of thing. Not like, oh, i got to have as much money as possible so I can be the best, <laughs> right? Uh, not like that. Uh, the, the queen is a softer energy. And it's, it's an energy of uh, doing what's best for everyone involved. So uh, I, I do feel like your focus may have been on the physical world in the month of October. But it wasn't like you were doing it out of malice or any negative um, motivations it was more like um you know it's, it was in alignment with your highest good uh, now for some of you i do get the the sense of nature here pretty pretty strongly so maybe a lot of you uh, again not going to apply to everyone but maybe a lot of you uh, really enjoyed nature you spent more time in nature than usual is uh, another thing i'm getting from this card so uh it was it's probably you know one or the other it's kind of hard to really focus on on making money and spending time in nature unless you're a park ranger or something you know so um i don't know Let's figure out which one uh, applies to you 
Uh, this card here represents your present, your current energies. We got the Queen of Swords, another queen. And now we've got a movement towards the sword energy, which is uh, the energy of communication, of thoughts, uh, of self-expression. So I do feel like um, there's a shift here towards expressing yourself and speaking out and making yourself heard and understood by others. And that's kind of general and vague. It doesn't really explain too much. Of course, you're always ex you know, expressing yourselves, but there, there's more of an attention being paid to it at this time is the feeling I'm getting. That you guys are, are ready to speak your truth, Gemini friends. You're ready to to uh, make sure that you're heard. And again, you know, the queen is a softer energy. It's the energy of do you know doing what's best for everyone, of uh, you know the divine feminine. And uh, you know, this is without gender. Don't look at the court cards with gender. Look at them more as energies. And so yes, I'm getting the feeling that now's the time for expression, self-expression. Now's the time. Now's the time to to say what's on your mind. But you're, you're doing it in a loving way for the most part. So I, I do feel that this is a positive thing, definitely. This card here represents the energies of next month. So the energies of November, we've got the King of Coins. And now we're going to go back to a focus on the physical. And I get the feeling that a lot of you are pretty good at making money. And I think in November, it's going to be your time to shine. You're going to really, you know, put your foot down and focus on your career. You're going to focus on your job. You're going to focus on uh, your finances. And I think this focus is going to help you to help to bring you to a state of balance and stability as far as your finances goes. So definitely seeing um, a move towards the financially minded in the month of November. And, um, you know, I hate to say, that, oh, this is positive. Oh, this is negative. I don't, I don't mean to say that. When I do it, you know, that's just my perceptions, basically. But uh, if this is what you need, then it's a positive thing. Um, but if this is, you know, taking you off of your path, if you're getting distracted by the shiny things, by <laughs> the glittering gold, then this, you know, probably not uh, something that you should dwell in for too long. So, uh, you know you better than I know you. So, you, you know, you figure out if this is a good thing or a bad thing. But definitely that's the vibe I'm getting. That it, in November, you're going to be really focused on, on the physical aspects of this world. Which, you know, kind of takes you away from the spiritual aspects or the emotional aspects. So, you know, figure that out and, and figure out if that's something that you want to focus on in November. This card here represents what you should hold on to in the month of November. We've got the Ace of Wands. To me, this is about new opportunities. This is about following your intuition towards new opportunities and new ventures and new adventures and new trips. And, and just, uh, you know, the Ace of Wands is about new energy and... When I say energy, I just mean like the, the, you know, sometimes even the physical energy of of going out there and, and doing something, right? So uh, I think that this card is asking you to try something new in the month of November. If, uh, you know, you, you're thinking about a new hobby, then maybe this is the month to try it out. If you're thinking about starting that website, you know, this is the, this is the month to do it. If you've been thinking about something, starting something new, then uh, November is probably going to be a good month for you to do it. You're so focus on the physical world that uh you know you're going to be able to um really connect with uh, the physical world and if you put energy into something that you connect with i mean the only good things are going to happen so definitely be open to uh, a new adventure this month in the month of november and i think it's going to work out for you is the feeling i'm getting this card here represents your biggest hurdle or biggest obstacle you're likely to face in the month of november we've got the hanged man a major arcana card Hmm, interesting. It kind of contrasts with the King of Coins, but the the biggest hurdle is going to be kind of shiftlessness. Uh, it's going to be lethargy, apathy, um, just feeling like uh, not doing anything. So, I mean, we all feel that way, no matter, I don't care who you are. From time to time, we just feel like it's time just to take a break, you know? I don't feel like doing anything right now. And, uh... 
that's going to be kind of uh, working against you in the month of November because you know you have this opportunity to do new things and and feel new adventures. You got the King of Coins energy, you know that uh, you know focus on the 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 natural elements of this world, and so uh, you have the energies supporting you moving forward. But I think you're going to be your own worst enemy as far as not feeling like it, <laughs> like losing the losing the 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 excitement for for things and uh, this is not necessarily like sadness it's just like blah <laughs> you know blase just blah so um if you do feel that way it's okay to take a break just make sure that you're using that time productively that you're not just sitting there watching judge judy or whatever that you're you're you know you're you're at least um working towards your spiritual goals or your your emotional goals at that time if you're not going to be working towards your physical goals you know and uh just you know do some meditations do some shadow work if that's what you need and use that time wisely if you do feel that way this card here represents what you should let go of in the month of november we've got the hierophant another major arcana give me a moment with this card huh i'm getting the sense here that you need to let go of the idea that you need a leader or someone to tell you what to do, someone to direct you, someone to guide you. Get rid of that. You don't need it. You are your own best leader. You know what's best for you better than anyone else does. And if you don't think so, that just means you're not in contact with your higher self, basically. Uh, your higher self knows what's best. And um, if you have a connection to it, then you don't really need any outside influences. Sure, they help. They might speed along your development. They might give you good advice. And that's, that's you know, valuable, right? But this card is saying in the month of November, at least, uh, kind of break out of that necessity and start to see how powerful you are and how much knowledge and wisdom and experience you have and, and how able you are to direct your own life. Um, so many of us in the spiritual community look up to teachers or gurus and we kind of eat their words up because they appear to be on you know the next level of spiritual development but you know you don't know if that what they're saying is in your best interest and so i'm not saying like ignore all teachings in the month of november but i am saying that you need to break out of that if you can and you know take in their teachings but let it pass through your own personal filter and uh see if it's really true for you all right this card here represents the energy of the people around you in the month of november we've got the six of wands and uh, i just want to say that you know individuals in your life will have individual energies but this card is kind of reflective of the people in your life as a whole and the six of wands here leads me to believe that uh people are gonna try to be teachers and leaders to you People are going to try to show that their knowledge and experience is greater than yours. And this is representative of your friends, your family, your co-workers, even strangers. So, you know, the Six of Wands is about leadership. It's about saying, okay, I've accomplished all this and you should follow. And I think that's kind of the energy that people in your life are going to give you. They might be even, even go so far as to say that people might even look down on you, uh, the people in your life, just because they've accomplished so much. And then they put your accomplishments next to theirs. And then they say, okay, I'm better than this person. This person should follow me. So uh, that's, I guess, that's kind of why the Hierophant is here to show you that uh, if that does happen, if you do feel that from your friends, family, your coworkers, or people in your life, then just sever that connection. You don't need that this month, okay? Um, if, if someone's acting holier than thou, if they're trying to direct you, and it could be subtle. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm better than you. They could do it subtly and imperceptibly, but if you do feel it happen, protect your energy. Realize that you don't need anyone's outside influence to direct you you have your own internal compass that you can follow and okay you can listen to them and take what they say and, and pass it through your filter but no one should have any control over you and that's something to really uh, be aware of in the month of november okay uh this card here represents the biggest lesson you're likely to learn in the month of november and we have ourselves a magician another major arcana give me a moment with this one Immediately, I draw parallels between the Ace of Wands and the wand that he's 
um, and, you know, it's the same. He's got a hand and a wand and a hand and a wand. So I'm getting the feeling here that the month of November is going to be a time for you to create. The king of the coins, the king of pentacles is here, and it's time for you to use the resources you have to create out of nothing. Well, not out of nothing. You're using the resources. So, uh, But th this month is about manifestation. And that's the lesson that you're going to learn is that when these new opportunities come up, if you don't seize them, you're, you're losing an opportunity to create something new. So, you know, new opportunities are going to spring up in the month of November. And it's important that you jump on them, you know, and... Um, Yes, there might be the tendency to be a little bit lazy, and I hate to use the word lazy, but a little bit tired and a little bit, you know, feeling like, oh, I'll just, I'll skip this opportunity. I'll wait for the next one. But that is going to sabotage you a little bit this month. So uh, make sure that you're, you're not dwelling too much in the hangman energy. If you need a break, take a break, but don't stay there too long. Uh, I do feel a progression here, but... Um, we're going from coins to swords to back to coins. So I feel like there's just a, this little period in between, that, which is right now, where you're just feeling like expressing yourself, and then you're going to go back to a focus on the career or the job that you have, or or however you make money. Maybe for some of you it's artistic. I don't know. You know, we're all different, and this is a general reading. So, um, but just making money, and and not just money, but possessions and acquisitions and acquiring. So. Um, Along that journey, the Ace of Wands is here. I mean, there's going to be new opportunities. you got to seize them because the Magician is here to tell us that you're going to create out of those opportunities. Uh, but just be aware that you are your own sovereign being and no one should you know, try to control you. And if people are trying to control you in the month of November, you've got to protect your energy. You've got to say, no thanks. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm doing. I appreciate your advice. I appreciate your guidance. But... Uh, that's guidance that worked for you doesn't necessarily have to mean it works for me so definitely be aware of that but that's the lesson guys is is that this month the month of november is a time to create it's a time to manifest and it's a time to move forward even though you may feel a little bit tired or you know blase at times don't get stuck in that blase because november is going to be a chance for you to seize opportunities all right, so before we go, we ask the Keepers of the Light Oracle what spiritual message it had for Gemini Sun Signs in the month of November. We've got hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. worth. Choose loving thoughts. So it definitely goes along with the line of knowing your worth, knowing that you're a sovereign being, knowing that, yes, people may have all sorts of ideas about where you should be headed or what you should be doing, but in the end, you have to... Um, recognize your divine worth recognize that you are a an entity just like uh, the others who claim to be better than you right and um part of that is love and acceptance is you know realizing that maybe they even have the best intentions for you and just you know don't hold any judgment over these people don't throw negative energy their way that's not serving anything recognize that you know they're just they have maybe not the highest good in mind maybe it's coming from a place of ego but their ego is telling them that they're doing the right thing so they think that they're helping so just uh, respond with love and acceptance and um, I think that's the best way to deal with it if you do feel like people are trying to control you and uh, also you know loving thoughts it says here choose loving thoughts and I think that's gonna help you stay on the correct path it's gonna help you to to uh, recognize these opportunities when they come up and it's gonna help you to follow through on them because if you're guided by love I don't think that uh, you know spirits gonna lead you astray okay so that is the reading for my Gemini friends remember this is a general reading if you want a specific reading tailored just for you then head on over to my Etsy shop there's a link in the description below you just click on that and get sent on over there and you can see a variety of different readings that we can use to get to the bottom of your issues together we can solve any problems that you may have so I'd appreciate it if you go check that out uh, if you like this video please consider hitting that like button it lets me know that you enjoyed it and you got something out of it and I should keep making these if you have any questions comments concerns or anything you want to say about this video put that in the comment section below I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about these readings and if you really enjoyed this video please consider hitting that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the videos i release which are quite a few and you don't want to miss out on those so hit that subscribe button i'd appreciate it all right gemini friends a lot of opportunities this month uh choose love and and recognize your own sovereignty recognize your your worth and i think things are going to be just great for you this month of November. all right so have a great month gemini friends leave a like if you enjoyed this happy tarot peace